What's the worst thing you can say at a funeral? Went to a funeral of a relative of my friend. They had allowed people to come up and tell their goodbyes or anecdotes to the deceased. My friend comes up and he introduces himself. Hi, I'm this guy's dirty little secret. Turns out the deceased was his real dad, who loved him and his mom. He married a wealthy woman and started his own business, and gained a reputation as this wholesome and great person. My friend tried to connect with him but he was blown off and told to never go near him and even called him a piece of shit. My friend and I had to leave fast because he caused a disturbance and it rippled well after the funeral. It also came out that he cheated in his current wife and fathered several kids, among them with her own sister. Did anyone find my crack pipe in his pockets? I'm sure the son of a bitch took it. Mind if I look real quick before the box goes in the ground? In the middle of giving his eulogy, my drunken uncle told a racist joke about Asians my grandfather used to say. The priest and half the congregation were Asian. In the right acoustics, 35 grandchildren simultaneously face bombing is sort of impressive. As someone who worked at a cemetery, this is the wrong hole, has got to be my job. My grandpa told his cousin, see you at the next funeral. Because it was a running joke that the only time they all got together was when someone kicked the bucket. The next family funeral was my grandpa's, so maybe don't jinx yourself. Knocks on casket. My best friend's mom passed unexpectedly and I attended the funeral with her. Her dad was giving a really touching eulogy and made mention to a Caribbean vacation they had booked very shortly before she got sick and all I could think was did they refund the tickets? I would kill to go there. Thank god I only thought it. To casket, once again you need to be the center of attention. Oh this is a great thread. The day of my grandfather's funeral was particularly cold. Someone said to me you couldn't have picked a colder day. LOL. My ex read an account of the abuse by her grandfather who sexually molested and raped her. During his funeral, the individual texts and letters he'd sent. The threats when she named him for what he did. Her brothers prevented the family members that denied it happened from leaving the chapel. She left recordings of him saying things like he'll never get caught and he'll die before he sees prison at the end. I don't know if it was the worst thing to say or do as many of her family members refused to listen, looked away from her or even said things like really at his funeral. It pisses me off to no end that smug bastard got exactly what he wanted. He died before seeing justice. I don't know the details as to how or why he wasn't immediately arrested but he was considered a pillar of the community and I have feeling it was a good old boys thing. She said she was happy he was just dead but I know that it still doesn't sit right with her. Her grandmother has since apologized and said she knew despite being one of the biggest deniers. This was years ago more than a decade and thinking about it still get my blood boiling. Fuck people. I gave the eulogy at my mom's funeral that happened to fall on my 21st birthday. Before saying anything else, I thanked everyone for coming to my party. Friend of mine had a grandmother die of a stroke the same year that Gary Coleman, of different strokes fame. We paid him $5 to make the following joke over the pulpit when he spoke at her funeral. What do grandma and Gary Coleman have in common? They both died of different strokes. Mostly shocked silence, but there were a few snickers. We thought it was hilarious. Second best $5 I've ever spent. Not saying per se, but play Ding Dong the Witch is Dead from The Wizard of Oz. I was at my boss's father's funeral and he asked me how I was. I responded with my usual well, I'm still alive. For context, I just came from a medical appointment. I don't think I've ever been more ashamed of my mouth than in that moment. Look I swear I saw her the other day, oh well you win some you lose some, my little sister said once then she laughed awkwardly realizing she said that out loud to the girl's family. My sister says the things she thinks when she uncomfortable, it was the second degree embarrassment I felt that flooded the room, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face. While not really a saying as much as a faux pas. I hastily packed my husband's suitcase for my grandmother's very casual burial. The morning of the burial he is looking through the suitcase for something to wear and picks up a black t-shirt, that I had packed without looking at it, with a picture of a grim reaper. We had to quickly find him something else to wear. Not something we said, but when I worked in a nursing home, we'd send a couple of members of staff to the funeral as a mark of respect. We would wear out uniforms, so we stood out a lot. My nurse manager and I attended one together, in a church neither of us had ever been in before. 
there was a huge crucifix overlooking the congregation, and I swear that Jesus had the craziest eyes I have ever seen. So, my NM noticed me locked in the staring battle for my soul, and looked up to see what was happening. She gasped slightly and grabbed my arm, snapping me out of my trance and we both just instantly started laughing. Really badly. Infectious, incurable giggles. The poor dead woman's son was delivering a truly beautiful eulogy, and we just had to bow out heads and really hope people thought we were crying and consoling each other, when, in actuality, we were about to keel over, ourselves, from the stress of holding in a snort laugh. If a parent dies, getting told you're the man in the house now. Guess what, they already know and it's not comforting. Source, dad died last year. Oldest of six kids. I had a bird once and then it died. I know how it feels. This is what my best friend, not anymore, told me when my stepdad died, we were 17 at the time. Telling people you're an atheist. Extra points if it's in response to something religious at the procession. When I was in high school a kid jumped off a nearby cliff, killing himself. He was a cool popular kid so it was very unexpected. He was heavily involved with the drug dealing scene in town but nobody thought too much about it at the time. During the funeral while people were lined up to pay respects to the casket one of the friends of the dead kid stormed up to the front yelling and putting on brass knuckle things. He started to run and crow hopped, punching some other kid so hard it silenced the room. He kept punching until you could barely make out the other kid's face from all the blood. The dead kid's family got involved and it turned into chaos. Kid with the brass knuckles kept shouting he knows who killed him. He was pushed off the cliff. He helped murder him. Turned out the kid was pushed. Probably not the worst thing you can say at a funeral, but maybe one of the worst scenes I can imagine. I don't expect to see anything like it again. My sister told a dirty joke at our grandfather's funeral. In all fairness, he had taught her the joke. My grandfather had died in my aunt and he were waiting outside the church when a family friend came up to her and said, he looked good. My aunt says, he looked dead. Okay, Aunt Anna, let's go.